Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'm going to show you the best way to create row sequences for your spreadsheets in Excel. Using this method you can see each of my row numbers are labeled and if I delete an item off the list you'll see the row number also updates. Additionally if I delete a row altogether you'll see not only do the row numbers update but they stay in the correct sequence. Let's jump in and see how this is done. To create our dynamic row sequence, click into your cell and enter in the sequence function. Afterwards, enter in the count A function. With these two functions added, click the column that you'd like to represent your list. For me, it's column B. Enter a close parentheses, and if you have a column header like I do for my list, titled list, enter the negative one after your first parentheses so Excel doesn't count that as a row. One final close parentheses and click enter. Enter. Now, as you can see, I have my row numbers listed. And if I add a new row to my list, you'll see that row number is added. If I delete a row, for example, if I delete row two blueberry, you'll see again, my list is updated and it stays in sequential order. As a bonus tip, you can add text in front of these numbers if you'd like to. All you have to do is click back into the function. In quotations, enter the text that you'd like to see followed by a space and a close quotation mark. Then add the ampersand symbol. And after you click enter, you can see I now have item one, item two, item three, item four, etc., for each of the items on my list. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.